Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we are making a delicious, creamy mushroom stroganoff. Grab a plate, cause it's the all-free Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Today, we've got a great recipe for you today. This is a recipe that was requested by our supporting members. Um, every month I have a drawing of, um, I have a list of recipes that I'm working on, but I let them vote to choose which recipe I'll work on next. So this was a recipe that they uh, chose last month and I'm fine, I finally got a recipe. It's been a while, it took me a while to get this recipe worked out. I tried so many different versions and this is what I came up with and it is fantastic. You're going to love it. So we're going to get started. Uh, I've got my pan heated up here and I've got one just regular white onion diced up pretty fine and eight ounces of mushrooms that are sliced. And we're just going to get those frying together. And why I fry them together is because we don't use any oil when we saute our vegetables. Uh, and the onions have a bit of natural oil to them, but the secret is here, the mushrooms. Mushrooms, even as dry as they look, they're full of moisture. And when you start cooking them, that moisture starts coming out. And that's what's gonna keep the onions from sticking to the pan, because that, that moisture is gonna come out and it's gonna, you know, it's gonna wet the bottom of the pan, keep the onions from sticking. So we are just gonna get these cooking and sweat all of that moisture out. And we're gonna cook the, the onions until they're translucent. And if your mushrooms and onions do start sticking, which they might, you can always just use a little bit of water or vegetable broth and just sprinkle a little around, maybe a couple tablespoons, and that will unstick from the bottom just like a charm. So we're gonna wait till these are Cook down and then I'll show you how to make the dreamy creamy sauce. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share with you some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our new Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy Cookbook are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting members. By becoming a supporting member, you gain access to great member perks like monthly product giveaways, free downloads of our eBooks, and access to our in-depth courses, including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. We create this show for the hundreds of thousands of viewers just like you who tune in each month from all over the world to make it easy for everyone to live a plant-based lifestyle. So if you love our content, please join us on our mission and become a supporting member today by following the link in the description. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, so now our mushrooms and onions are done. This is what they should look like when they're done. So now we can move on to our delicious creamy sauce. So uh, before I do that, I'll mention I just put on some noodles on the burner back here. Uh, these are just some stir-fry Thai noodles. Uh, they are rice noodles, so they're gluten-free. We like to use these a lot. We always have them on hand because my husband really likes uh, our one noodle soup that's uh, super delicious. So we always have those on hand. Uh, but you can use whatever noodle you like. So on to this delicious creamy sauce. So first we have a half a cup of cashews. And if you don't have cashews or if you have an allergy, you can always use um, almonds or even sunflower seeds. They work great. A quarter of a cup of nutritional yeast, half teaspoon of thyme, one or a half teaspoon of onion powder, half teaspoon of paprika or smoked paprika. and a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. We're just gonna guesstimate here. It's about good. A 
that's messy. Okay, and one cup of low sodium vegetable broth. And you always wanna check your vegetable broth. If you're doing oil-free cooking, you wanna make sure you read the label of your vegetable broth because there's a lot of vegetable broths out there that add oil and you really don't need that extra oil in there. It's just not necessary. Okay, so now we're just gonna blend this up until it's super smooth and creamy. Okay, that's a super, super simple, dreamy, creamy sauce. Mm, I just love it. So now we're gonna pour this in with our mushrooms and onions. We're gonna add some pepper and some salt. This is, uh, I've got a couple tablespoons of Bragg's liquid aminos, but you could use tamari or you could use whatever salt you choose. You could even use some Himalayan salt, but this, this is a lower sodium version of salt. So we're just gonna pour this in here. And you're gonna wanna keep a really close watch on this. I'm gonna add my pepper in there. And this pepper is just to your choice. How much pepper you like. I like it to have a little bit of a bite from that pepper. So I add quite a bit. Okay, so we're just gonna keep cooking this. And as it cooks, which it only takes just a few minutes, it's gonna, get, it's gonna thicken while it's cooking. So you just wanna watch it really carefully and keep stirring until it really, until it's the thickness that you desire. And then we'll throw in our noodles and stir it all up. Okay, so this is looking super good. If you wanna see the consistency that I like to have it at is right here. And this is when I'm gonna turn my burner off and I'm gonna add my noodles. I'm just gonna stir the noodles into it. Keep stir them really well so all of those noodles are covered in this delicious sauce. Oh my gosh, if you could smell this right now. Woo! So, smells so good. It's making my mouth water. All right, so this is done. If you want a printable version that has all of the exact measurements, it'll be in the details below in a link. I'm gonna grab a plate and a fork and I'll meet you at the table for a taste. Okay, it's my favorite part, the eating part. All right, let's get up a little bit of this. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. Try to get some mushrooms in there. It's gonna be a little bit hot. That's okay, I'll be all right. I'll sacrifice for you. Mm. <laughs> mm. That is so rich and creamy. Mm. Oh my gosh. I think I may have, may have found my new favorite meal. This is so, so good. So creamy, so decadent. Mm, you are gonna love it. So be sure to give this a like and I'll see you next week. Mm-hmm.